You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Yes, it shall. Good morning to you and trust you are keeping well. By the grace of God, this weekend, it is well with you. We are sharing uh, this morning on I have raised my hand. And that is coming from Genesis chapter 14, 18 through to the end of it. You are warmly welcome to the Really, Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adeneko. The whole thing has been packaged together to inspire and to inform you into a rich knowledge of God by His grace. And everything is being powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Exuspiration, The Place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. And now let me say this to you, if you are fed up with saints knowledge and you now really desire revelation knowledge, this is the place to be. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we bless you and give you glory. Thank you because Lord, your word says this, letter killeth but the spirit giveth life. Grant unto us that spirit of wisdom and of revelation. The Lord will explain the spirit of your word to us and also inspire us to live accordingly. Thank you, Heavenly Lord. Take all the praise this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Verse 18, Genesis um, chapter 14, verse 18. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was a priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be the God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hands. And Abraham gave him a tithe of all. And now the king of Sodom said unto Abraham, Give me the persons and take the goods for yourself. But Abraham said unto the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand unto the Lord, God Most High, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take anything from a thread, to a lander, sandal strap, beg your pardon. I will not take anything that is yours, lest you say I have made Abraham rich, except only th what the young men have eaten, and the portion of the men who went with me, Ena, Eshkol, and Mamre. Let them take their portion. Amen. So, this was the story of Melchizedek coming up first time in the Bible. Abraham and the others, they were returning, but two, three kings also uh, joined hands with him. And then Melchizedek, the king of Salem, brought bread and wine. And uh, he was saying, come on, this is lovely. Let's celebrate this together and all. Now, some a certain things, a certain number of things were said about this Melchizedek. Um, we shall see that when we get to the book of Hebrews. But for now, we can see some things here. The man was the king of Salem. He was a priest of the Most High God. And the very his name, Melchizedek, the meaning of the name is the king of righteousness. So this man, his name meaning king of righteousness, he was king of Salem, he was priest of the Most High God. When you look at a combination of those things, it is believed that this was just a manifestation of God or the Son of God in the Old Testament. Number one, his name was king of righteousness, that is the name by which he is called, he was called. Then, by position, he was king of Salem. Also, by another position, he was priest of the Most High God. King of Salem means king of peace or prince of peace, another name for Jesus. <clears throat> priest of the Most High God. Bible calls Jesus our, our high priest. Okay, so this was some form of manifestation. He brought bread and wine. He says, Blessed be Abraham of God Most High. Well, this was calling him Abraham of God. That's what, what a lovely name to be called. Amen. Because Abraham was associated with God and that is the way he was described. Abraham of God. God of Abraham. Abraham of God. Wonderful. When you, you, know, you get that um, uh, close with God and you become, you enter into him like that, that you could call God of Abraham, Abraham of God. Hallelujah. And so this particular person, this... Uh, uh, um, I call it a mysterious person that appeared at that time, which we believe on New Testament of Mesopotamia, of God at that time, or Jesus at that time, blessed Abraham and blessed God. He says he brought bread and wine. That bread and wine was supposed to be what they do, food and drink. That was the you know language of it at that time. But bread and wine, 
makes me makes it very very intriguing for me because this is bread and wine and you remember that um, that was the way jesus ended it and after he rose again he met them beside the sea again brought fish and then asked them to eat and all bringing bread and wine to me means a lot and that's the way god provides for us um, he is a come on let's celebrate let's celebrate let's share time together and i think this means a lot to what we celebrate in the new testament and let's go on and abraham gave the man a tithe of everything and that was the first mention of tithe in any story that has to do with god or the people of god in the bible this man never asked for a tithe abraham had spiritual common sense to know that i must give this man a, a tithe that's a tenth of everything that we have got i must give this man the tithe how come because he realized that this man look at his name look at his titles look at his office this man was no no one else but god himself manifesting or the son of god manifesting and abraham gave a tithe and this is the basis of us who are the seed of abraham when we pay our tithes when we give our tithes because we are taken after the example of abraham who asked who paid tithe or who gave tithes when nobody asked him of it and that's a lot of uh, there has been a lot of talk about though if you don't give your tithes you this and that and that and that it's not in the new testament not only is it in the new testament in hebrews 7 8 if you know how to go and check it go and check it says there <clears throat> it says here men receive tithes but there where is there heaven he received it who is he jesus of whom it is witness that he lived forevermore hallelujah so we find it in the new testament but that's not even all of it we actually begin from abraham because we are the children of abraham we are the seed of abraham it is in our nature to give tithes praise the lord so no matter what anybody says about tithing it is in our nature to give tithes. we will give tithes no matter what anybody because it's in our nature for example it's in my nature to breathe no matter what you say i will breathe <laughs> it is in my nature to love music no matter what you say i'm going to love music no matter what you say online praise the lord so that's the weird thing about ta- it is in our nature abraham is our father we took it from him and so we are going to continue to do it no matter what anybody says and then the kingdom sodom you know who he has now helped he says just give me the men take all the goods and say i have lifted up my hands to the to the lord hallelujah hallelujah that most possessor of heaven and that i will take nothing <laughs> i will take nothing from you you have all your goods lest any man says i made abraham rich i wish people would talk like that today i have raised my hand to the almighty god i will not pay bribe i will not give bribes i have raised my hand to the almighty god i will not tell a lie no matter what the case might be i have raised my hand to the almighty god i will not handle money with sharp practices no matter what the case may be i am now occupying a political office but i have raised my hand to the almighty god i will not do what they do so that it can be the way it always is i will i have raised my hand to the almighty god i have raised my hand and i will not touch wine with my mouth because i'm a king it is not for kings to take wine i have raised my hand to the almighty god what have you raised your hand to the almighty god to do or to practice or not to do as the case may be hallelujah he says except the young men whatever it is they have eaten and the people that went with me they want to take some let them take but i (laughs) <laughs> I love that because Abraham was saying other kings may but I won't and I wish somebody would be able to say that today other kings may I won't other brethren may I won't other people may I can't because I have raised my hand to the almighty God I pray that somebody will have that level of dedication and commitment to the things of God to his relationship with God or whatever it is he has raised his hands to do that I have done this and there's no going back on it by the grace of God. I wish you a very lovely weekend and I also request that by the grace of God, find a way to make more people know about us. God bless you. Thank you.